Smart Suites Forms lets you capture information from external stakeholders like your prospects or customers to pull that information inside a Smart Suite, and it's really easy to set up. Hi, I'm Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com, a Smart Suite implementation partner. I'm inside a Smart Suite, and let's say we want to set up a contact form for our website. Well, right now I'm on my contacts inside of our CRM, and we can see that we already have contacts, we already have fields that are necessary for this. And what we need to do is create a new form. And to create a form, this is simply another type of view inside of the system. So if you're familiar with Smart Suites views, you know that we can have a grid view, we could have a map view, and we could see where those contacts are located. We could have a card view and be able to view images of the contacts that we have. And these are all the same underlying records. So Cole has a record and we can see the image of him. And that's the same exact record as we see here in the grid of Cole. And we could see his record on a map as well. So the important part to understand here is that when we create a form, it's just another view. So when someone submits information from that form, it creates that contact automatically. There's no syncing that needs to be done. There's no integration. It just, that data is part of Smart Suite. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new form. We could do this as a public or a private view here. I'm going to make this public. I'm going to create this new form here. Let's just call this contact form. We'll create that. And you can see by default, it just creates an empty form for us. And notice over on the side, we have a number of different fields that we can add. So let's get started with that. Let's add some of the fields we think we will need. So if we have not already created the fields as part of the grid view, we could add new fields and this will give us our field type picker that we can choose from and add those fields as we see fit. Now at this point, we've got some special things that we can do on a form that we can't do in other kinds of views. So one might be in this case, there is a field for our address that on the grid view is called location. But in this case, location doesn't sound quite right to us. So we wanna be able to click on it and we're gonna relabel this to address. And the nice part about this is, is that even though we've relabeled this to address on the form, if we look back at our grid view here, it's still called location. So we can make changes so that it makes sense for what the user is going to see when they go to the form that won't actually affect it in the grid view there. So we've got address, we could add some help text, um, like enter billing address here, which could display as a little bit of contextual information. We can also change the look and feel of the form by editing our logo and uploading our own logo to be able to use. We can also add in elements like an HTML block. And here, maybe we want to inject a divider line if we have a longer form, or in this case, I'm gonna use a call out and we could put some information here to say, we'll get back to you in 24 hours. So this gives us some design possibilities to extend the look and feel of this a little bit. We have the ability to add some logic to our form as well. So on our product interest field, this is a multi-select. First of all, we could limit this to certain options if we want to. We could also show a field only when certain conditions are met. So in this case, if someone says, hey, the product is other, and then we wanna show them this other products field, we could say show only when and add a condition and say if product interest has any of and they choose other then we're going to display that field conditionally now at this point we're ready to share our form with the world so we can click on share form up here and we're able to get a shareable link or you can embed this so if you have a wordpress website for your main site you know this is what we do for our contact form on our website as well we've got a couple different options here to be able to share this with people, but maybe you want to just share this link over email. We're going to pop this open in a new tab. Now, one of the things that we can do is we could refresh this or disable it. So if you have a form and you want to shut off access to that form, you can do so without actually destroying the form itself. So here's our contact form. And now we've populated it with some information to submit. Notice that product interest. If I say, oh, I'm interested in smart suite. Great. Now, if I say that I'm interested in other, that's where it's going to reveal that extra field. So that's how that conditional logic works. Let's go ahead and submit our form. And when we submit, we get that thank you message. If we go back here to our contact summary, our grid view, that new record has been created. 
Dan Lehman, my email address, and all of the information that we put in shows up. So again, a form is just another view inside a smart suite that allows us to capture information from outside participants to be able to submit that. And now we can do whatever we want with that data. You can get up and running with your own forms in your solution by clicking those views, the drop down, pressing that plus button, and selecting a form.